Hello and welcome to a GNOME Basics video. In this video we're going to be talking about I-cord. I-cord is a wonderful way to knit in the round with very few stitches and not actually have to distribute the needles across or the stitches across a bunch of needles. For this you will need two needles with the capacity to slide back and forth or uh, hop the yarn back and forth. So. For this, you will need two needles and some yarn. Cast on however many stitches your pattern tells you. You can do I-cord between two to six stitches fairly reasonably. After about five plus stitches, it can get a little gappy at the back and I'll have a tip at the end. And to start, all I'm going to do is knit across as though we're knitting flat. And now, I am not going to turn my work. I am going to slide it all the way back to the other side and I'm going to knit those again. Now if you have um, magic loop or uh, long circular needles that you are using from this, sliding this all the way to back to the other side will be annoying. So instead of sliding it back at this point, just pop the stitches from one tip onto the next. So let me slow down and show you what I'm doing with the I-cord. So I've slid them to the, or I've brought them to the tip here, and now we've got the yarn coming off the last stitch we knitted. One of the nice things about knitting is you can figure a lot out by paying attention to where the yarn's coming from. The yarn will come from the last stitch we worked. And we're going to bring it across and work it just as we would a normal knit stitch. So for a continental knitter, that might look like this. Knit. knit, knit, whereas for a English style thrower that might look like, and this is one that I struggle with a little bit, that look might look like, oh no that's not working, <laughs> there we go. These needles show up really well on camera but they are a slippery needle to work with especially for a technique I'm not very good at. All right, so you'll have to use a bit of forgiveness as I demonstrate continental on slippery, not continental, uh, English style on slippery needles. Um, so the key thing about I-cord is that you simply always slide them or somehow get them back to the tip so that you can work this stitch while bringing the yarn across the back. When you first start, it may look quite gappy here and that's okay. As you continue to work more and more rounds or rows, it's a bit of a debate what to call this, it, won't, it will close up in the back. You can also tug on it a bit and you'll notice that that will close up the back. And finally, my tip for if you have done that and it still hasn't worked, one really easy thing is um, if you remember being a child and having Play-Doh or dough in your hands and just putting it between your hands and rolling gently, um, just roll it and you'll find that that will almost be the best way of blocking I-cord. I hope this helps you uh, as you work your way through some gnomes or some other knitting techniques. It's really very simple. The key thing is to remember not to turn the work. Knit across, get those to a workable position, whether you're sliding or hopping them back as you would with a long circular and just, again, knit across. The I in I-cord, uh, Elizabeth Zimmerman said, came from idiot because it was so simple even an idiot could do it. <laughs>